looking nice in this plaid. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This is my temporary intro video. <laughs> Lol, video. Anyway, enjoy. Got a smile for the cup. Ooh. Okay, now it just looks ugly. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my OG gang. If you're not my OG gang, that means you're not subscribed, so turn that red button gray if you want to be part of this OG gang. Let's get it. So today we're going to be doing, sorry, I always say we. Today I'm going to be doing a digital design, uh, design. And so I did it by sketch or did it by hand with a pencil and pen, and then I took a picture of it, scanned it, and then put it up onto my software that I use. And the software that I use is Medibang. I can't... Yeah, that's the name, Mighty Bang software, coloring tool, pad, I don't know. But um, it's pretty good. And I've been using it for the past year, and no complaints. Alright, so the design I got planned for today is this beautiful mermaid dress. I want to go for a pinkish, kind of rose-toned uh, look. So first off, with the digital design, I start off by blocking in my skin. The parts that are going to be exposed, uh, like, you know, trying to show the depth and the materials on the dress. So that's how I start off, by shading and blocking the skin tone. Then I get my color palette that I want to work with. And like I said, I want to use rose colors and light pinks and pastels, you know. And then I start blocking out the sections of the dress. Now I'm going to go in with some shading, try to get the depths and value of the dress. Um, try to make it look realistic, a little three-dimensional, so I put some shadows and some highlights. Try to get those levels that I'm talking about. Now I'm just gonna add some minor details like lines and such to make it look, you know, kinda real, like realistic, try to get that feel. Now I'm gonna block out the collar and add these little appliques and put them all over the dress, make it look all pretty, not in a specific pattern or anything. Now I'm gonna go start off with the hair. First, I didn't like that side ponytail, so I went up with this wavy, uh, long look, shading with the highlights as well and then cropping and adding the detail lines. For the face, I really don't like to add eyeballs and you know details and makeup and all that stuff because it really isn't what I'm focusing on, but today I just felt like doing it because I want to tie the whole look together, so I added like, you know, some eyeshadow, mascara, some brows, gave her some contour and highlight, you know what I mean? And then the lips, ugh, it was the hardest, hardest part. You see I'm like doing it over and over again, changing the colors. It was just like the hardest thing to get done, but I mean, it came out well anyway. And I'm just going to finish off the whole look with some shoes. I kind of like the style, it's kind of nice with the glossy highlights and all that, and that's it. We're done. Looking good. And this is the final look. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Theo underscore Tokimo or Etokima, that's how we say it. And add me up on my design page at theoriginal.design. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more of this content. Y'all don't want to miss it. And OG gang, don't forget to be you, be beautiful, and be original. And I'll see you guys later. Cheers, bye. Got the whole jawline. <laughs> the Adora! Damn, you're actually beautiful. The heck? Okay. Oh, she looking photogenic on both sides. <laughs> Sir. <laughs>